Now in this question we're given the graph of y equals 10 plus 8x plus x squared minus x cubed and it has a stationary point here at a and the question asks us to find the x coordinate or show that the x coordinate anyway is 2 at this point a. Now if we've got to use calculus that means using differentiation. When we differentiate remember it gives us the gradient at any point on the curve and what we're going to do is set that gradient equal to 0. So dy dx, if we differentiate the first term that's going to be 0, differentiate 8x and we just simply get 8, differentiate x squared it'll be 2 times the one at the front here, 2 times x, take away 1 from the power so that's 2x and then lastly differential of minus x cubed is going to be minus 3 times the 1 here, 3, subtract 1 from the power, so that's minus 3x squared. So at A, we know that the gradient, that's dy by dx, is going to equal 0. So therefore, we have that dy dx is this, so that means that 8 plus 2x minus 3x squared must equal 0. So you have a quadratic equation then and because it starts with a negative term here I prefer to multiply through by minus 1 to rearrange it and make the minus 3x squared term a positive 3x squared term. So I'd have plus 3x squared, then we'd have minus 2x and then minus 8 equals 0. Next, like all quadratic equations, check to see whether they factorise. If not, you can use the formula to solve them, the quadratic formula. But this one does factorise, so we'll have two brackets equals 0. We have at the front a 3x and an x here. And two numbers that multiply together to give minus 8. That will be a plus 4 and a minus 2. And you can check that... When you multiply this out, you get your minus 2x, because you're going to have 3x squared, and you're going to have minus 6x plus 4x. That's going to be the minus 2x, and then 4 times minus 2 is the minus 8. OK, so we've got that far. All we need to do now is solve this. So obviously we have each of the two factors, therefore the two factors must equal 0. 3x plus 4 equals 0, or the other factor, x minus 2 equals 0. This first factor leads to x equaling minus 4 thirds and the second factor leads to x equals 2. So quite clearly that you can see looking at the graph here x equaling minus 4 thirds must relate to a stationary point somewhere over here. It almost looks like it's going to be at this part of the curve but whatever, our a coordinate obviously has a positive x value so therefore at a we can see that the x coordinate is clearly 2. And so that proves that part of the question.